Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the Lexi Hair Channel. My name is Haley and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make three really easy, really simple DIY hair masks using amazing ingredients that you could just find all around the house. And pretty much the whole point of these hair masks is honestly just to give your hair back some love and some life from all the damage that the cold weather has been doing. And I mean, especially in the winter time, our hair goes through so much torture in that brutal cold outside and is causing a lot of dryness, a lot of flaking for many people. So today's hair masks are going to be a solution to all of these problems. And give your hair the much needed moisture that it needs. And if you are curious to see any more of me right after this video, my channel Haley's Corner is going to be linked right down below in the description box. There you can find pretty much all things beauty, hair, makeup, fashion, and a lot of DIYs as well. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Okay guys, so before actually getting into it, I just want to quickly show you what my hair looked like before actually doing any of these hair masks. This crazy cold winter weather has honestly left my hair feeling so dry and so brittle. And not to mention, my scalp was really itchy and really flaky, which is what happens a lot of the times. So to kick it off, we're going to do this brown sugar and olive oil mask. I love it. It's amazing at exfoliating my scalp, getting rid of all of those flakes. So for ages, extra virgin olive oil has been used as a natural conditioner to treat dry hair. And it also produces soft and shiny hair since it locks in the moisture and just prevents dryness to the scalp. It's a great resource at preventing breakage, split ends, and even flyaways, which you get a lot in the winter. To that, I'm just adding some brown sugar, which is such a great exfoliant for the hair, which helps eliminate the dead skin cells from the scalp and any residue that may have built up, which is what leads to healthy and shiny hair. So to get this first mask started, you're just going to take two tablespoons of brown sugar, and then you're going to take one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and you're going to mix that all together in a bowl. You're definitely going to want to protect your clothes or whatever you're wearing, so I'm just applying a towel right under my hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the grainy texture of the mask, and I'm going to start exfoliating it right into my scalp. I'm just going to use some circular motions to make sure that the olive oil absorbs right into my skin while the brown sugar as you exfoliate takes away all of those dead skin cells. I like to give myself like a little massage while I'm doing this too because it's honestly so relaxing as well. Once that's done, I take the rest of my mask, specifically the olive oil left over, and I just disperse that all over my hair. And then I'm just going to tie up my hair and sit in a plastic bag or a shower cap from 15 to 20 minutes. But personally, I like to take this time to give my Luxie hair extensions some love as well because let's face it, in the winter time, they need it too. The two super ingredients in this mask are honey and coconut oil. Honey is so great in retaining moisture in your hair as it is a natural humanectant, which means that it sucks in moisture into your hair to prevent it from escaping. Because coconut oil is just loaded with so much fatty acids, it just penetrates into your hair so deep like a deep conditioner and it leads to beautiful, soft, silky, shiny hair. You're just going to want to use a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you're using one tablespoon of coconut oil, you're going to be using one tablespoon of honey. And then you're just going to want to transfer it into a pot and heat it up until it's melted. Here it is after it's melted, you can see it turns into a liquid state and you're just going to want to mix the mask together. I start off by laying down some saran wrap just so I won't get the area messy. And then you're going to start applying it to your Luxies. So either taking a brush, you can just brush it on or I actually like to drizzle it on from mid shaft to the ends of the extensions. And then going in with my hands, I just massage that all in until it's evenly coated. Right after I flip it over and I do the exact same thing on the other side. Once that's all done and the mixture is perfectly distributed from mid shaft to ends, I just like to cover it up with the saran wrap and let it sit there for about 15 to 20 minutes. If you do want an entire tutorial on how to properly wash your Luxies, we're going to insert it for you right there. So feel free to click the top right corner and there it's going to give you more information on that. Okay, my Luxies are all washed and ready to go. I'm just going to brush them through and let them air dry. And you guys can see, wow, what a difference. Look at the shine and how it's restored. Ugh, these Luxies are gorgeous now. I can't wait to wear them again. Yay! Okay, guys, so we're at the last mask. So it's actually going to include the exact same two ingredients we had in the last mask, which is coconut oil and honey. But on top of that, you're actually going to be adding six to eight fresh strawberries into the mix. They have protective properties which keep your hair from falling or thinning. They're also so rich in folic acid and vitamin B6 and B5, which are so great in preventing hair loss. So for this recipe, you're just going to be taking six to eight fresh strawberries with one tablespoon of coconut oil and one tablespoon of honey. So you're going to go ahead and blend all those ingredients together. Or if you don't have a blender, you could just mash it up with a fork and form like a little mash puree. That will work just as well. And did I mention? Yeah, this smells really good. So this mask best applies with damp hair. So my favorite way is to just grab a little brush and I like starting it off at the ends. And then I slowly work my way down just to make sure that it's all evenly coated. 
At some point it gets a bit messy, I just grab it into my hands and then I just put that all throughout my roots as well. Once that's all dispersed, I just love using these like little coil hair ties because they're so great at keeping my hair up with keeping the mess to a minimum. And then once again, cover it up with either a shower cap or a plastic bag and let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Once 15 to 20 minutes are up, just go ahead, do your typical shower routine and specifically wash it out with warm water. Huh, I just feel so clean now. And by the way, guys, here's a little tip for you. I used to towel dry my hair, which is horrible. So now instead, what I actually do is use a big white cotton t-shirt. And the fibers in the t-shirt are so gentle that they won't cause any breakage and they'll prevent you from having any frizz. So either wait for your hair to air dry or just blow dry and then just style as usual. I mean, instantly, come on, you guys can see such a difference. My hair all of a sudden is so shiny and it's so glossy. And honestly, like, I can't stop feeling it. I touch my hair way too much. But especially now, you guys can see, especially in the root area, where I had a lot of those dry flakes. Now it's so shiny and silky and I have none of that dryness going on. The ingredients in all of these hair masks just work together so well and they give your hair so much of that much needed moisture, replenish it and give you all that nice shine. Okay guys, so this is pretty much the final result. You can see how shiny and silky my hair became from doing those hair masks. It honestly gave it so much more moisture and I just feel like my hair finally has that bounce that I used to have a couple of months ago. So these hair masks are definitely amazing and I totally encourage you guys to try them out. And by incorporating at least one of these hair masks a week, I truly feel like my hair is saying thank you and it's just giving me a good hair day almost every day. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. That honestly helps us out here so much. And be sure to comment down below which of these hair masks you would most likely try out for your if you do end up trying any of these hair masks and you want to show us your results, we would love to see so be sure to tag us on Instagram using the hashtag LuxyHair so we could see our beautiful, smooth, shiny, silky, moisturized locks. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. I honestly had such a blast and if you guys do want to see any more of me, my channel Haley's Corner is going to be linked right down below in the description box and I would really love to know if Luxie sent you. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to Luxie's hair channel because there's so much amazing hair content on here as well. If you do want to go ahead and see more hair tutorials or videos then be sure to click right here and it's gonna send you to another one. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. We truly love you forever and always here at Lexi and we'll see you next time for another video. Bye!